hey guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i have a pretty cool tool that i wanted to show to you and the name of that is shodan right so what shodan is shodan is basically a search engine you know as it says the world's first search engine for internet connected devices right so the, uh, when you think of search engine you think about like google or, or maybe bing one of these search engines right so how they work is once you type in a, a search a string or a query you know this it will basically return some data for you right based on the, that query you know it return that result for you so shodan works kind of similar except it shows you internet connected devices right so um you know similar concept except the results are a bit different right so i'm just gonna dive into the demo itself and it make more sense when you actually see how it works so to get started you head over to shodan.io and you log into account if you already have one if you don't you could feel free to sign up for one so i'm already logged into my account so how shodan works is you enter queries you know similar like what you do on let's say google or filters they call them in shodan and it provides you with results based on those filters right so one filter we could use let's say we want to search for webcams right that's connected to the internet because remember this basically is a search engine for devices that are connected to the internet right so let me, if i type in the word webcam and i hit search there as you can see it said it gives us uh some results of all the webcams that were found on the internet uh, here we can see 5908 webcams and the left hand pane here gives you a breakdown of all the various uh, countries right so for united states china singapore it also shows you some of the top ports associated with uh, webcams as well as organizations and products right uh, so yes yeah, so a lot of useful information here right so as we can see on the right hand pane here now we see a bunch of other information such as the ip address of the webcam you know and with the country it's associated with etc right if we were to hit on the ip address itself this would further take us into some of the additional settings that we could see so here we could see the country as the republic of korea the city the telecom provider it also shows us which ports are exposed to the internet right and some other information based on the ports as well you know so some really useful information here uh, especially if you're into cybersecurity, penetration testing stuff like that you know that information could be useful to you a really cool way to kind of navigate these searches is by browsing images so if i hit on browse image right what does does it shows you screenshots for some of these webcams right so if you look at that you'd see you know there are actual screenshots that are associated with these webcams where you could further you know click in and get some more information about so we'll I'll, I'll dive into that a little more in a minute but i just wanted to show you some of the basics right also we could search by country the country filter so i live in trinidad and tobago so to search by country i type in country colon and my country code which is tt if you live in united if you want to check out united states you type in us for the uk uk you, you know so just type in the country code there and you hit search and this should return all the results you know so it found 105,186 devices in trinidad and tobago right it gives you a breakdown of the cities the uh the areas that found them in so 48,000 was found in port of spain and chagonas etc right and a breakdown of all the devices here as well so i wanted to show you something really powerful about shodan right and that is the ability to combine filters you know to kind of narrow down our results so let's say i'm looking at my country trinidad and i wanted to search for hick vision devices for those of you who don't know hick vision is a popular camera manufacturer uh, it's a popular brand that we particularly use in trinidad and tobago 
So let me say I typed in the country code and I typed in Hikvision, right? Hit enter. What this should do now, it should bring up a list of all devices. Oh, I spelled Tech Vision wrong, my bad. <laughs> so let me correct that and hit back enter. And there you go, it shows us that 2,952 devices, Tech Vision devices, were found on the internet. Right? And what we could do here as well, if we were to hit on this arrow here next to it, this should bring up the prompt for us to log in, you know, the actual Hikvision login page. You know, so imagine how, you know, how powerful this is, guys, especially for people who are into like penetration testing and stuff. You know, you could potentially use this to, you know, uh, hack systems and stuff. Because if we were to hit, let's, let me just show you a scenario. And remember, guys, these are just, this is the video just for educational purposes. Uh, I'm just showing you what is possible. I'm not telling you to go and hack anyone's system out there. Right? Just a disclaimer. Uh, if you were to go into the device by hitting on the IP address, it shows you other information pertaining to the Hikvision device, right? Such as the web version, the plugin version, a bunch of other things. Sometimes it even shows you the firmware and stuff. So based on this information, let's say it had a vulnerability associated with one of these cameras and you're seeing that here, you could potentially, you know, do some serious damages based on the information you found there. Right, another quick um, filter I want to show you is uh, operating system. So say we all know Windows 7 is an outdated operating system. It has a bunch of vulnerabilities associated with it. So let me see if anyone in Trinidad and Tobago is still running Windows 7 computers. Right, so filter is OS colon Windows 7. And sure enough, yes, people are running, you know, Windows 7 computers. You know, this is crazy, guys, because Windows 7 is end of life, you know, and it has a bunch of vulnerabilities associated with it. So, yeah, this is crazy. The amount of people we're seeing is still running Windows 7 machines. All right. So uh, I want to run through some quick filters that I found. Uh, I know that are pretty useful. Uh, uh, that you could use on Shodan as well. So the first one shows you certain type of camera that could be found on the internet, right? Usually this cam, this webcam is connected to a Windows 7, Windows XP machine, right? Uh, pretty uh, vulnerable setup. So as we can see, all these are footages from the webcam. Um, so if you want to try to view these webcams, if you simply hit on this arrow here, right next to the webcam yeah this is the live feed of the webcam guys right so this webcam is totally vulnerable right now you could search uh, uh you could view it no username no password required let's see if we could pan and tilt and move the webcam sure enough we can we can move the camera right so you know how crazy this is you could actually control someone device uh, camera that you have no ties with you don't know the person they don't know you but true you know the power of network security and showdown you know you could literally do these kind of things right and um let me go back okay i just have to close off that yeah and a bunch of different webcams you could see here is just open Right, let me try another one really quick. This one is in Italy, Rome. Let me see if this one works. Yeah, sure enough, it does. So this is Italy. This is Rome we're looking at right now. And can we move the webcam? Yes, we can. Right? So guys, it's crazy, right? So yeah, so that, that is one crazy script that you could use to um, basically do these type of searches. All right, so I want to show you something else now. Let me see uh, RDP, right? Remote desktop. We all know that it's not a good idea, right? To have uh, RDP sessions exposed to the internet, right? Remote desktop sessions exposed to the internet, right? So let me show you a, a filter you could use really quickly here to kind of just see which remote desktop ports are exposed to the internet all right so 
he's not there enter and bam look at this guys bunch of devices 20,000 something devices exposed to the internet right it's crazy this is crazy guys right and um as we can see here it also shows us vulnerabilities so beside having remote desktop it shows you that these devices have vulnerabilities associated with them right so if i were to hit on one of these ip addresses this one is actually in bogota colombia it shows you that we have a remote code execution vulnerability associated with this computer right so yeah and it shows you what ports are open right what what uh tcp ports are open there right and under each port it gives us information uh, again pertaining to that port right so yeah crazy guys the amount of info you could get here scrolling down yeah as you can see a lot of imagine someone is actually still using windows xp right apparently in china so this is a windows xp computer so you could imagine how much fun a hacker could have with a device like this you know a windows xp device if they wanted to all right so i showed you cameras i showed you rdp i showed you country uh last thing i want to show you is how we could find like certain hp printers sorry brain freeze for a second name right so if i want to show you like what hp printers are exposed to the internet i could use this filter and here we could see you know all of these you know twenty seven thousand something hp printers are associated are connected sorry to the internet right and again if we hit on one of these things here right it should be able to bring up the interface of that HP printer for us. So I think this particular one was somewhere in Korea, so they might have a bit of uh, latency with the network connection. But yeah, as you can see, slowly but surely, we are in the HP printer. Look at that, guys. You know, we are in the interface of the HP printer. It's on the settings page. Here we can see, yeah, all the settings are available for us. You know that we could potentially you know edit and stuff if we wanted to right uh let's try another one here really quick um let's try this one here united states uh yeah and looks like it's loading yeah similar model actually yeah so this 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 uh, device is accessible as well to to the internet right and all the network uh, settings apparently are available you know so we could literally if we were nefarious do some damages with this information potentially do some damages you know because everything is exposed apparently there is no uh, credentials associated locking down this machine Right, so let me show you one more filter here before we go. And this one is actually for Xerox, right? To look at Xerox devices. Right, so we know Xerox is another, oh my bad. You know Xerox is another popular uh, manufacturer of printers, copiers, those sorts of things. Right, and yeah, these are the xerox devices that it found there let's see if we could actually get what to one of the interfaces we can turn that uh proceed because it's a self signed certificate this is using and yeah we can access the xerox interface right yeah so it's crazy guys the amount of things you could do um you know but show done right pretty much it but there's a bunch you, you know we could potentially do you know a bunch of different things we could potentially do with show done as you could see here right this was just a basic introduction to it right so i mean show done is a great tool for anyone as i said who's into cyber security if you're on the red team side you want to probably use this as one of the tools in your 
penet penetration testing toolkit you know find a lot of valuable information uh, when you're doing penetration tests also if you're on the blue team side and you're defending your network definitely you want to probably think about using this as well because it could show you you know vulnerabilities and what kind of exposure your network has to the internet right so guys let me know in the comment section below uh, are you familiar with Shodan you know um, are there uh, other devices or some devices that you use that you think are a little better than Shodan or similar to Shodan I'm interested in knowing please comment down below and let me know also if you find this kind of content uh, useful why not consider subscribing to the channel on this channel I deal with all things cybersecurity related, uh, networking related, system administration related. You know, so why not give us a subscribe and hit on the notification bell so you'll be notified once a new video is released. As always, thanks a lot for viewing. See you soon.